Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Today we continue looking at Debian Bookworm and we are going to talk about the pseudo users, how to add your user to the pseudo group, and the fact that most of us who do the distro reviews have either completely forgotten or did not know about this that at least a dozen of you reminded me of in the comments and people have told me about it in the past. I completely forgot about it, but you got to understand when we're doing these distro reviews, we can't stop and read every single screen. Uh, because a lot of it is we've already read it and we're more likely to make mistakes if we stop and read every screen. But the second factor is sometimes you just move into autopilot, you need to get in, and we're talking about little portions of the video. So, of course, the video that we are going to be talking about here is the, uh, the install Debian bookworm that we did last week or earlier this week. I forget exactly when we did it. But uh, this guy here, we walked through the basic steps and I said, left in the comments, I said, tell me all the things you'd like me to do with this Debian install. We're just going to keep this guy going and, and run with it and things. And so I've already recorded a few videos here. We'll get those out and then uh, I'm going to check through the comments on this video and that other video and see what types of things do you guys want to see on getting everything set up. So the one step that we need to start in with is this screen on the install. Okay, so this screen here is when you're setting that root password. And all of us always set the root password because that's how you do it in nearly every distro. Now, the thing we're going to clarify here is if you leave this blank instead of filling it out, you leave this blank, it disables the root user and makes the first user that you create, the one we're going to create on the next screen, it adds that to the pseudo group. So if you're looking at all this stuff and you're like, okay, I've heard this is a problem in Debian. I haven't installed it yet. Just skip the step. It's going to accomplish what we're going to do and it disables that root account. Okay, now if you enter in, and this is what most people do, if you enter in a root password here, the next screen you're entering in a regular user and then your regular user does not have pseudo privileges. So you try to boot up the terminal and be like pseudo apt update and it's like you ain't in the pseudo groups, buddy. So uh, that's really the problem we're going to solve. So if you've already installed Debian and you're like, oh, how do I do that? I forgot about it. Don't worry about it. This tutorial is going to walk through the simple steps you need to do to add your user into the pseudo group so that you can go ahead and make any changes with your uh, basic user as pseudo instead. The first thing we need to do when we install Debian is to make sure that we can use our basic user as a pseudo user, assuming of course you want that. It is the core function of most Linux distros. In fact, I cannot think of another one that doesn't do it automatically, although you can let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure there are more. Most Linux distributions, when we get in here, we have our basic user. And if I want to do an update, I can do sudo apt update it asks for a password and let's go ahead and give it our password and you'll say debian is not in the sudoers file so debian is of course the username that we set up on this particular computer and uh, it is not in the sudoers file let's go ahead and start by looking at uh, let's see if we can pull up our separate users let's go ahead and hit this this is uh, going to be from our settings and you can see here, you can see this is our Debian user. We can adjust our um, name. We can adjust our password. We can do that. Let's go ahead and start by unlocking this, which we're going to need to enter our administrative password to do that. You can see we don't have a lot of extra options in here. Here's, of course, our image. And really, we don't have the extra easy options. Now, in something like Cinnamon, you have inside the users, you can pull down from all of the possible user groups and select the uh, pseudo users file. So you can go ahead and do that. You don't have that option inside of Debian. So we're going to have to do it in the terminal. So you don't absolutely have to. If you want to keep your security absolutely the highest, the way Debian does it is the best. The problem is it is inconvenient. Of course, we like can we like inconvenience to keep our privacy and security. I'm okay with that, but I'm also okay if we want to add a pseudo user to the system. So in order to do this, whenever you want to do things on Debian, then 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our root. So sudo dash root. So su is super user. And then the root is going to be the root user instead of your basic user. We need to enter our password. This is the password for your super user, not the password for your a current account user, which is Debian. Now you'll notice the difference here. We have a dollar sign, which means we are using the system as root, AKA be careful. You could kill something versus the dollar sign, which is uh, the dollar sign is indicating that we are using it as the individual uh, user of the computer. So you'll also notice here root at Debian versus Debian at Debian. The afterwards at Debian is the computer name and the first Debian up here, this is the user for the account. So uh, from here, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that sudo is installed. So we're going to do apt install sudo. And you'll see that sudo is already running the latest version. So what this means is that sudo is already installed. We could have skipped that step, but if you are unsure, go ahead and do that. Now we're going to do user mod. And we are going to add to the group. We're going to add to the group sudo, and we are going to add Debian. Okay. So now we let's double check this. Let's do su Debian, and now we're back to Debian. Let's go ahead and give it a brief reboot just to make sure. Uh, let's actually just log out and log back into the system. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to exit, exit, exit. And let's go ahead and we'll just do a full reboot just to make sure. So now we're going to pull our terminal back up. Let's do sudo apt update. Enter our password for Debian. And you can see that now sudo apt update is going to work. So now anything that you need the sudo user for, you can go ahead and do dress directly from the system because now our Debian user is in our sudo group, meaning that now Debian can be used for super user privileges as long as you're prefacing it with sudo. So there is the simple steps to install the basic user of your Debian system into that pseudo group in the event that you install that. And once again, thank you guys for the reminder that yes, you can skip that first step in which case it will disable the root account and we do not need to do this individual step. So um, always good to, to get the, the learning the new things and being reminded of the new things. Yeah, marketing, you need to hear it a few times before you get into it. Speaking of hearing it a few times, head on over to the website, switch to linux.com. You can find the uh, affiliates, uh, methods of support, and some other articles and such over there. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.